is an absolute travesty of our educational system when students fear for their safety at school, worry about being bullied, or suffer discrimination and taunts because of their, their ethnicity, their religion, sexual orientation, disability, or a host of other reasons. I have to tell you, I have very little patience with the arguments that kids will be kids, and there's not much that schools can do to make, to make their environment safer. I hate all the excuses, and I hate the passivity. That's Education Secretary Arnie Duncan. He's tackling school bullying this week at the first federal summit on the issue. And with us now, host of Morning in America, former drug czar, and a guy who held Arnie Duncan's position back just a couple of couple of centuries ago. 25 years ago. 25 wow. yeah, years wow. ago. Yeah, yeah. Bill Bennett. Now, Bill is actually a paid senior advisor for Safe Communications, which is launching mousemail.com, a website for parents who want to protect their kids right. from cyberbullying and sexual predators on the web. Mike, obviously, we've been talking about this for a long time, because in your backyard up in Boston, one of the most dramatic in Hollywood, cases of this. Yeah. Just uh, heartbreaking. But with, you know, Arnie Duncan did not mention the key word. Bill Bennett just referenced it. Parents. Parents are the key in bullying. I mean, we put everything on the schools. Right. They deserve a lot to, to have a lot put on them. But so many teachers are afraid of litigation. They can't sure. do this to the kids. Say this to the kids. Parents. So, are the key. so Bill Bennett, let's talk about this. And then here's a tease. Bill Bennett was getting on me for being too tough on Barack Obama. Yeah. We'll explain that in a little well, bit. Well, not in general, only, <laughs> only specifically. So, but anyway, let's talk first of all about bullying. It's, it's a growing problem. Good, good, pretty good Secretary of Education, by the way. Yes, you know, really, if you've, if yes. you've had the job, you tend to think nobody else can do it, you know. But uh, he's, he's done some good job. things and yeah. making angry some of the right people, I must say. He, I was talking about bullying in general. What we're seeing uh, with the use of the, with the digital age is something called cyber bullying, use of the cell phone for the most part, computer, but the cell phone. The, the phone is the uh, instrument of choice. It's not the computer. And interestingly, it's not email, it's texting. Mm. Texting is what the kids love. 100 texts a day is not uh, unusual. And that, that's where the bullying That's is where the bullying occurs. So, that's so where how the, do you stop that? That's where the sexting occurs. Right. Uh, a lot of it girls, girls sending to boys. A lot of bullying by girls of girls. Most of the bullying, we think, is still still boys. And just lots of inappropriate stuff. Parents are key, as they always are. They're so key so I've got a young girl. But, how do we stop it? How do we well, stop that? Well, this the reason I'm involved in this company, and you know, there are lots of opportunities for formers to get involved in companies. Right. I've only done two, K-12 and this this one, it blocks the messages from ever getting to the child. What what mouse mail does is keeps, and we call it mouse mail because we're aiming it at young kids, because the age of onset, the age at which a kid gets a cell phone now, eight, nine, ten, it's going down. Mm. It's about eleven and a half is the average. Wow! But That's it's right. going down. Itself. There are reasons parents want kids to have cell phones, mm -hmm. and sure. as you have more single parents, you're going to have more cell phones, so people have a line of communication, a line of security, but. Up till now, a parent could get a report on what the child saw, could get it even simultaneously, but couldn't block it. Well, the technology is such that using a dictionary, using the common usage that kids use, words, language, right. you can now block those messages. It starts with the parent, though, a conversation with the child. You want a cell phone? I'll get your cell phone. You're using this system, mouse mail. Let's get the list of approved people. You can talk to them. And interestingly in this one, we're not going to spy on you. And this is one of the things I like about this. It's not spyware. You have those conversations. We'll leave you alone. But something nasty happens, I'm going to hear about it, and you're not. So in, in the case that Joe referenced in Massachusetts, Holyoke, Massachusetts, Phoebe Prince, 16 yeah. years of age, immigrant from Ireland, Holyoke High School, texting during the class, just right. brutalizing her. How do you stop that? Well, also with mouse and mail, you can set a timer, and you can say there is no texting. You're shutting it off from 8.30 to 2.30. The schools love I love that. The schools That's good. love That's this good, system. That's good. Teachers, when I oh, did this on my radio show, uh, morning in America, you know, morning bill didn't work. No, just, no, you know, no, just, no, no. We tried. <laughs> morning Bennett just no. didn't go there. Uh, we talked about this. We heard first from teachers and principals who said, um, this is great because what they will tell you is they're trying to teach class and the kids are, are doing this all the time. Yeah. Check dinner tables around the country. Oh, you know, everybody's got to adopt terrible. a rule. Yeah. You know, no texting at the table. Yeah. Uh, it, our kids are in the digital age. And some people say, well, just take the phones away. Not going to happen. 75% of our kids have phones. That's the way they communicate. you gotta, you got to get in that world and protect them in that world. 